Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a website for your coaching business. Now, if you have a coaching business, you obviously know the importance of marketing. And yeah, having a quality website will definitely help you attract new clients. So I'll be taking you guys through step-by-step -step on how to build a website through Wix, which is one of my favorite website building platforms out there. And you guys should literally be able to have a working website within one to two hours. It's also super affordable and yeah, by far one of the best website building tools out there. So if you guys click on the link down below, that's gonna take you to this page. And from there, you guys can sort of follow along or just sort of watch as I build a website and then repeat all these steps and do it yourself. But yeah, by the end of this video, you guys are gonna know exactly how to build a very, very good looking website. So let's get started. All right, so I have Wix pulled up right here. So basically the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is enter your email address right here. Then we'll click start now, click continue with email and then we'll be able to enter in our password right here. After that, we'll click sign up. And by the way, you guys can also sign up with your Google account, your Facebook account, or your Apple ID. Now it's gonna take you guys through a series of questions. You guys can either answer them or you guys can click skip right here. If you guys do answer the questions, it's sort of gonna lead you towards the right template to use. So it's really up to you, but let's just go through this and answer these questions. So let's say we're building this for myself, click continue. It's gonna ask what type of website are you actually creating? So let's actually click on consultant right here because that matches pretty well. Feel free to choose any of these if it's you know, more on brand with your coaching business. But for now, let's just say consultant and click next. Now it's gonna take us to our dashboard. And from here, we can basically enter in some information. You guys can enter it right here, or you guys can actually enter this in later on. Let's call this Charlie Chain Consulting. You can click next. You can enter all this information in here, but I'll just click skip for now. And it's gonna have us actually create our free domain. So this is gonna be charliechainmedia.wixsite.com slash whatever we put here. And as you guys can see, this is not optimal. I really do recommend when getting an actual domain, so something like charliechainconsulting.com. You guys will need to upgrade to one of the paid plans to do that, but that is 100% worth it. I personally think it makes no sense to go with the free version of Wix, especially if you're trying to build an actual business. But yeah, we'll talk more about that later on. We'll leave that for now, we'll click next. If you wanna offer any services, we can actually select that right here. But again, I'll click skip. You can choose how you wanna get paid. If you do offer services online, we'll click skip as well. And then we'll continue on to our dashboard. All right, so now I'm in the actual dashboard dashboard of my website. The first thing that I recommend doing is come here to upgrade. Here you guys can see the pricing. As you guys can see right now they're running a sale. I don't know if this is going to be going on by the time you watch this video, but regardless, still a really great deal even if it's not on sale. We can look at website plans right here. So this is going to be a little bit more basic than the business plans. You guys can compare the different features. You guys can see they all come with a custom domain for free. They all remove the Wix branding, which is also extremely important. And I just recommend looking through to see what features you guys need, whether a website plan will be good enough or whether or not you want to get an actual business plan right here. And I will say if you guys do want to accept payments, you'll want to get the business plan. I'd go with something like this. But yeah, I'm going to skip this portion for now just because I'm showing you guys how to build a website. But later on, I definitely recommend upgrade because you definitely need a custom domain. And trust me guys, it is well worth the money. All right, so now that we're back in our actual dashboard, we can actually come here to the left side. This is where you're going to be able to see a lot of information about your website. You can change these settings. You guys can do marketing and SEO, look at different reports, look at your finances if you guys are accepting payments and uh, for products that you have. You're also going to be able to store your contacts here. As you guys can see, we select consultants, so we have booking services right here. So if you come here, you guys can literally add a new service whenever you want. You guys can have an intro consultation call, business consultation, of uh, pretty much whatever you guys want to create. And of course, you guys can always start from scratch as well. These are all just going to be pre-made templates for you guys. But yeah, let's come back to home, and what we're basically going to do is come here to design site. This is where we're going to be able to actually start creating our website. So it's gonna ask you, how would you like to design your website? There's two different options. You can either have Wix create a site for you or you can customize a design template. Now, if you're really, really running tight on time and you want Wix to just sort of do everything but not really customize it, you guys can go with this one. But most people are gonna actually suggest going with customizing a design template. This is gonna offer you a lot more options to make it how you want it to look. And yeah, I'll say that most most of you guys probably are going to want to choose this one. So we'll click pick a template. Now, one great thing about Wix is that the platform comes with a ton of really, really good looking websites, like really good looking. These are all professional looking websites that would cost you guys a lot of money to make if you guys did it custom. And what I recommend doing is just scroll down here, look through all these different templates, you now see which one matches your vibe, your brand. We can go to page two. There's tons of different pages. We can sort by different things. Let's select top templates. And say I like the look of this one. So we can actually 
come here, we can view it to see it in a larger scale. I think this looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is click edit this site. This is going to take me to the Wix website editor. And I'll be showing you guys in this video basically how to use this interface and how easy it is to actually create a very good looking website in literally under an hour. Wix recently updated their website builder. I really love how it looks and how easy it is to use. And so yeah, you guys can see over here on the left, we have add elements. We can add a section. We can create new pages. Uh, we can change the overall site design. We can add apps as well. And here's where our media files are going to be. Now, as far as the main homepage, I want to go over some things so that you guys have a better understanding of how this editor works. Uh, first is you have your header up here and you have your footer down here. Basically, the header and the footer are going to be in all of your pages on your website. So if I edit something right here, it's going to change that for every single page on my website. And same thing up here, right? So up here we have our name or logo, whatever you want to put. We have our menu up here and down here we may have some more information that we can put. If I want to update anything here, this is going to only change that for this particular page, the home page. It won't change it for any other pages. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is come here to pages and menu. You guys can see we have a home page, a resume page, a projects page, contact page, and a book online page. If you guys do want to create a new page, you guys can click add page. You can select a template for this page. So I would scroll through here, see if there's any design that you guys like. Let's say we like this one. So we'll click add page. And let's say, for example, we want to call this one our team. Click done. It's going to, of course, also be about me if it's just you. We can also change the order of the different pages on your menu. We can click these three dots right here, change the settings, mess around with the SEO. I'm not going to go into that since that will take too much time. We can also hide it. If we don't want that to be seen on the menu. But yeah, let's just leave that as is. We can see our team is now here. And if we want to update this page or edit this page, we can come here and basically mess around with the editor. Again, all the stuff in the middle is going to be stuff that we edit just for this page. Then we have our header and we have our footer down here, which remains the same. Let's go back to our home page. So I'm actually going to go here and let's say we want to change up some of the stuff right here. You can basically double click on this. You can change the text however you like. So let's say you want to do something a little bit more informal. We can say, hey, we can also change the font size easily. We can make it bold, any of these things. I just recommend playing around with it. Of course, you can choose from a huge selection of different fonts. You can even upload your own fonts if you wish. And then another thing I want to talk about is themes. Okay, so for your heading one, you're going to only want one of these on your website. This is going to be really important for SEO. You guys can have as many heading two to sixes as you want. And basically have the title of your page be the heading one. As far as paragraph one, two, and three, those are going to be used more for the text of your website. But don't worry about that too much right now. Let's say we want to change this to I'm Charlie Chang. Okay, this is set at a heading four. That seems like a fine size. And if you want to change the text here, double click and you know just play around with that. Of course, we're going to want to change the photo as well. I'm going to click on this, click change image. Basically, what we can do is drag and drop files from our computer into this section right here. So I'm going to open up my finder. I'm going to find some images that I can use. So let's say we want to use this particular image. I'll drag it right here. After that uploads, I'll be able to do any of these actions if I want, or I can just have it selected and click choose image. Bam. So that image is now in here. Of course, we can change it anytime. We can crop it. You can also animate it if you want, but we'll leave that as is. For these, of course, we can change the text. These are called buttons. And this particular theme came with these round buttons, which I think are pretty cool. We can type something like book me. You'll select the page that this actually goes to. So we can click on this. We can select from a page that we already have. We can enter a custom web address. You guys can feel free to choose whatever you want. But yeah, for this, let's just have it go to resume just for the sake of this video. And of course, do that for these as well. If you guys do you want to add another section? I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's say we want to add a section underneath this main portion of the home page. What I'm going to do is come here to add section, right? And if I want to actually add it on top, I'd come up here, but we'll click on this bottom one right here. And that's going to bring up add section over here. From here, we can basically select from all the different designs for these sections. Feel free to scroll through here. You guys can put the about page on your home page if you want and not create an additional page. You can have a contact sheet up here. You can have a subscribe call to action right here as well. Yeah, let's say we want to put this call to action just for the sake of this video. I'm going to drag this into the section. Bam. Now we have this cool little section right here. What we can of course do is come here to quick edit. We can change the background if we want. So I can click change. Wix is really great because they have a ton of different backgrounds that you guys can use. Let's say we want to go with this one for now. Okay. We can also choose no background as well. Yeah. Feel free to play around with this. 
they have so many different options. It really is pretty amazing what you guys can do with this. We can change the title, we can enter in all this stuff. And yeah, that's basically how you use the quick edit button right here. Of course, it's not as customizable as you know going inside and editing it yourself like that. So we can close out of this and actually just edit like this as well. It's really up to you guys. This is going to create your own little like contact form. And from here, people can enter in their emails and that's gonna be in the contacts database. Let's say we want to add yet another section. We'll come here to add section. Uh, you guys can come here. You can see they have a lot of features. You can even sell things on Wix. We can, let's say, come here to the about section. And let's say we want to create something like this. We'll drag that over here. As you guys can see for this thing, this is basically a section with two different columns, okay? So if I click on any of these columns, you guys might notice that there are these dash lines. Basically what you're gonna want to do is keep all of your important text and information within those two dash lines. If for example, we have text over here, that might not be seen when the page you know, resizes based on people's different browsers and resolutions. So as you guys can see, there is a little warning right here that we dragged it outside of the guidelines and some visitors won't see it. So I'm gonna drag this back over here. Basically to center it, it's very easy. You just drag it until you see this purple line right there. And if you wanna center it you know, vertically like this, you guys can also use that. But of course, I think it looks a little bit better right here. You guys can also click on the tools thing right here. Click on toolbar. From here, you guys can actually align the stuff really easily. We can click on this, align to the right, align to the center. So for example, align to left, we'll click that. It's gonna push that all the way to the left. And of course, we're gonna select this. And if you do want to align it to the middle vertically, you can click this as well. But yeah, I'm gonna move this right here just because I think it looks a little bit better. Over here, you guys can see the dash lines are a little bit different. So this is really gonna depend on the template section that you're using. So now we're gonna want all the text within this section right here. Feel free to change it, add effects, do different spacing stuff, whatever you guys want. Now, one thing I always recommend you guys doing is making sure that your copyright year is correct. So what we'll do is come here. We will select 2023 since that's the year I'm making this video. And of course, change it to your name. And then if you guys have an email that you wanna put or a phone number, you guys can add that as well. You can also delete these sections if you want. And you can also add in your social media profiles here as well. So overall, I think this is a pretty good looking site right now. As you guys can see, we can come here to our pages, take a look at our team page. Very easy to edit. As you guys can see, everything needs to be within this dashed line. And yeah, I think this looks really great. I don't recommend trying to customize things too much. Pick a template that you like. These are professionally designed, so there's not gonna be much tinkering that you guys need to do. And then spend the bulk of your time just building your actual business and marketing. One thing I do wanna say is that this is the desktop editor, right? But the thing is that a lot of people actually will access your website through their phone. So it's very, very important for you guys. Once you guys, you know, finish editing on the desktop, come here, click to switch to mobile. And this is gonna show you what your website looks like on a phone. The changes that you make here are not going to affect how it looks on desktop, which I think is pretty cool. And so yeah, basically you'll come here, you guys can change this, you guys can drag it around and just make sure that your mobile site is optimized, that the layout works. And yeah, as long as you guys didn't change too much in the desktop section, then as I said, these are professionally designed. The mobile version of your website is gonna look pretty good. And it's gonna probably not require too much changing. Let's go back to our desktop view. And then I'm just gonna show you guys over here. A really cool thing about Wix is that they have a ton of free apps that you guys can use. So if you click apps right here, you guys can see which of these apps can we actually add to our website to give it more functionality. A lot of these are made by third party providers. So they're not all made by Wix. And that just means that there's a ton of different things for you guys to choose from. For example, if you wanna have a forum on your website, you guys can literally add that in with the apps functionality. You guys can also have a chat box. And yeah, it's really, really interesting. Just recommend going through this. And yeah, if you want any advanced functionality, this is where you're going to find that. If you guys wanna change the design of your whole site all in one go, you guys can click site design right here. Of course, we can change the theme whenever we want. We can change the background color. So I can click customize. We can add a you know actual picture background. We can choose a color. Say we want this a little bit darker. We can do that really easily. And yeah, once all this is done, you guys, what you're gonna want to do is make sure that you actually save your website. Uh, all the saves should be on, so you know, you're not gonna lose your work. But if you do want other people to be able to see your website, that's when you're gonna want to come here to publish. If you guys wanna preview your website, you guys can also click on this. That's gonna you know move that toolbar stuff on the sides and sort of show you what your website looks like. With the free version of Wix, of course, you're gonna have Wix ads, so that doesn't look that professional. But the great news is that you guys can literally build your website without paying first, see how your website looks, 
service. And then once you're done, you guys can definitely upgrade to one of their paid plans. So let's say we're happy with how our website looks like. I'm gonna click publish right here. That's gonna make sure that our website is live. And yeah, let's click view website and bam. This is our current version of our website that we literally created in like what, 10, 15 minutes. So as you guys can see, that was super, super easy. Their drag and drop editor is just amazing. And yeah, if you wanna build a professional looking website in under an hour, I think Wix is gonna be your best choice. Again, the link to Wix is gonna be down below. And if you guys do use that link, it will help support the channel. So thank you so much in advance. Anyways, I hope you guys found the step-by-step -step tutorial really helpful. Again, having a website is really important for marketing your business, especially a coaching business. And yeah, hopefully you guys found the process in this video pretty simple. Feel free to reference it at any time. And yeah, happy website building. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you start your business. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.